recon, you can see where the barometric pressure that they found was down to 992. The posted barometric pressure is at 991. We got those northeast winds at 14 miles an hour. That's a two mile an hour uptick in the speed from 12. Uh, with the barometric pressure dropping, this stayed the same. It's only a one point drop, but typically when this goes down, this goes up. As you can see right now, the hurricane recon continues. They found some wind speeds as high as 77 with that barometric pressure. Here's the change in the forecast. We're still looking. This is an 8 a.m. landfall. We're still looking at about 2 o'clock in the morning. And as this continues, and I've got to go and pick up the uh, forecast discussion here, but it looks like it should still uh, maintain at least tropical storm force strength, some minor strengthening, and then once it makes impact here, and it still looks like around St. Mark, Tallahassee would be here, and then you got Monticello right underneath, and then moving into uh, areas around, say, Valdosta, and continuing all the way over to Wake Ross, Georgia. We're going to go ahead and stay with this right on into the uh, top of um, the uh, RCL folks. Uh, guys there in the booth. So just going in a little bit closer, I want to see if that path is... So there's Tallahassee. It looks like maybe just a little bit more of a lean, but there's Sop Choppy. Yeah, so we're still over top of St. Mark's. There's Madison and Monticello would be sitting right about there in our Florida zones. And then once it moves north, past Madison across that border, there's Valdosta. Just about the exact same. I don't think we've seen much change here, at least in this approach for the track. It is just to the north of Waycross. Now the uh, other issue that we were watching is what happens... Remember, it was going to move off from Savannah and then kind of swing around the Outer Banks. I'm going to expand the view here. And no, we have seen a, a shift, keeping it a little bit more inland up through the Carolinas and then kind of cutting out here and then moving out through the Outer Banks, Kill Devil Hills. And then as it continues to turn into a depression at that point and move north. This is a quick recap. I'll just get you caught up here on what we're seeing. 11 o'clock advisory. It's still Tropical Storm Hermine. The barometric pressure's dropped a little bit, and the forward speed has started to pick up. 